Hey, this is Peter Freeman from Crunch Time Coaching. We're here with John Newcomb. We're here at the Newcomb Ranch with a tennis fantasy camp. And it's just a surreal experience. When I got here, I get off the plane and I get introduced to this guy right away. He's got a big good day for me. And uh, he puts me on the court here with Brian Godfrey, who's hitting the ball about a foot from the baseline. It's, it's unbelievable here. I mean, you have to come and experience it. And today, Nuke's got a tip for us on being a little bit more aggressive on the return of serve and, and specifically running around hitting forehand, right? Exactly, Peter. And I've got to congratulate you on the way you handled yourself on that first day because that was not <laughs> easy to just arrive off the plane and come right out and, and get tested on your skills by hitting with Brian Godfrey. I, I was nervous, but okay. it was fun. It was fun. All right, well, one of my favorite tactics on the second serve was to run around the backhand and hit my forehand, which was a powerful forehand return of serve. It was very intimidating to my opponent, but you've got to learn how to use this and use it smartly. You don't want to do it all the time. Your opponent will get used to it, and he'll get to know when you're going to run around and try to hit the forehand, and he can ace you down the middle or out wide to the first court. So early on in the match, I would be, I would be standing in like this on the second serve, and I'd run around a backhand and crunch a forehand return. Hopefully it was a really good one. Now for the rest of the match, every time my opponent went to hit a second serve, I'd be just making little moves like that. Not, a, not enough for the umpire to say I'm deliberately putting off the opponent, but enough for my opponent to realize I may be running around. And I may not do it for another 20 minutes. And then all of a sudden, on a big point, I'm going to be doing this, and I haven't run around, haven't run. Suddenly, I'm running around, I'm crunching a forehand return of serve. So the key is you've got to be unpredictable, right? I'm putting doubt in my opponent's head. Now, I have played a match uh, uh, in a Davis Cup finals in Cleveland. I was playing Stan Smith, and Neil Fraser, our captain, kept saying to me, run around, run around, hit that. I said, no, no, I'm happy with the way I'm returning. I'm going to wait for that tactic. A very important game, we were neck and neck in the fifth set. I had a break point, 30-40. I hadn't run around, I hadn't run around. Stan went back for a second serve, and I, I, I started doing this, and then I ran around the second serve. He tried to ace me down the middle and double folded. Ooh. So I had planted a seed of doubt mm -hmm. in his head about what I was going to do. It's a very useful tactic. It can be an aggressive one, and it can put a heck of a lot of pressure on your opponent throughout the match. You're always worrying about that tactic. That's great. Now, I got one question. Is there a specific time when you want to make your move? I imagine if you go too early, you can really leave yourself out to dry. Yeah. You, you, well, you can decide, yes, I'm definitely going to run around this, or you can be moving and moving and not moving, and then you just take a gamble and do it. But it's, it's a really a game of cat and mouse with your opponent. And the pressure's all on him, because remember, it's his second serve. And especially if it's a 30, 40 point, all the pressure's on him in the game of cat and mouse. You're the cat, he's the mouse. <laughs> I like that. All right, so guys out there, you know, be sneaky. Get into their head, and you might get a free point on a big point. Might even not have to hit a shot, right? Maybe? Exactly, Peter, exactly. Now, don't you do it against my team this afternoon. Okay, I will. <laughs> Take care, we'll see you next time.